In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the number of groups of a categorical variable. So I'm going to change the variable satisfaction. It currently has five groups. It's a Likert scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree, and I'm going to change it to three groups. So if I go to the variable view, you can see my original coding from one to five. I'm going to combine strongly disagree with disagree as a group. I'm going to leave undecided and I'm going to combine agree and strongly agree. So the first two are going to make up group one. Undecided will be a group on its own and the last two will be the third group. If I go to the transform menu, I'm going to choose recode into different variables because I want to create a new variable. I don't want to re replace my existing data. I'll find satisfaction on the left and I'm going to move it to the box on the right and I'm going to give this variable a new name. Remember, you cannot use spaces or special characters. You can only use an underscore. Once I've entered the name, I'll hit change, and my new variable name will show in the box. Click on old and new values. My old value, 1, for strongly disagree, that is going to stay as 1. So I'll enter 1 in old value, and I'm also going to enter 1 in new value. And then I'm going to click Add. My second group, 2, was Disagree, and it's going to become group 1 as well, because I'm going to combine it with Strongly Disagree, and click Add. 3 is Undecided, and Undecided is going to be its group of its own. It's group 2, so my new value is a 2. And then Agree was 4 and it's going to become group number three. Likewise, group five, which was strongly agree, is also going to become group three. Make sure to click add each time. You can see my old values from one to five, and now my new groupings are from one to three. When you're done, click continue, and then click OK. Go back to your data file and you'll see the new variable that you've created. I'm going to change the number of decimal places to zero and I'm also going to give it a new label. I'm going to call it satisfaction with three groups. I'm also going to define value labels so I can see what 1, 2, and 3 represent. So 1 is disagree or strongly disagree. Because I've, I've combined these two responses into one. I'll click add and my next group 2 is undecided. And my final group 3, I've combined agree with strongly agree. Make sure to click add each time. When you're finished, go ahead and click OK. And the last thing we need to change the level of measurement, which is on the far right hand side. This is an ordinal variable. Now if we double click on the 13, which is next to our variable, it takes us back to our data view. We're just going to have a check and make sure that our data is correct. So if we, I'm just going to click and drag my variable next to my satisfaction variable to compare. And I can see that the response agree is now agree or strongly agree. Disagree is with disagree or strongly agree, undecided with undecided. So I can see that my data is in agreement with each other. And my new coding is from 1 to 3. You'll also not notice there were zeros previously, and now they're missing because I haven't coded my missing values yet.